My name is Eric Gant. I own the Gartley Point Hatchery here in Royston. And I've been devoted for the last 25 years to trying to develop the gooey duck and sea cucumber aquacultural industry here in Bain Sound. Recently, a couple of companies that uh, I'm involved in have applied for two uh, tenures along the shoreline in Bain Sound that are about 10 kilometers in length. The intention is to raise uh, sea cucumbers and start rebuilding the what was once a good concentration of natural stocks along the shoreline. The reason why I'm devoted to this form of aquaculture is because I was raised in a in a farming district and I've seen what happens when intensive monoculture takes over the natural ecology of a forest. Basically the farmer's job is to eliminate the forest completely and then grow one crop for profit such as uh, wheat. And this has a devastating impact on the environment and eventually it catches up with the farmer. Right now in my hometown area, they're being plagued by huge dust storms that never used to exist when I was a young boy. So when I began to realize as a commercial sea cucumber fisherman and gooey duck fisherman that we were not taking proper care of the ocean's ecology so that our fisheries would be certain to be sustainable and we were uh, looking at new ways to do things. I decided that aquaculture was the way to go, but what I wanted to do was to avoid this intensive monoculture approach where you wipe out a natural ecology, you destroy the predators to protect your animals, you start getting into using antibiotics to try and keep the animals alive. So we developed a system uh, for gooey duck aquaculture, which was to reseed the natural beds that had been mined down or mined out by uh, wild fisheries back up to their natural densities. And we knew what that was because I was one of the pioneers that discovered those beds to begin with. In sea cucumber, what we want to do is to free range them so that they will naturally spread themselves out to a density that they know to be naturally healthy. So we don't have to know what's the healthiest density uh, we just let Mother Nature do the job for us. Our job is just to be as supportive as we can of a complex matrix that no human being truly understands. I think that we can learn from the land and we can also learn from the, uh, the weaknesses within the wild fishery and the weaknesses within the aquacultural industry and create a hybrid approach, a hybrid approach that is an extensive aquacultural approach that fits into the natural ecology. The beauty of sea cucumber and gooey duck is that they are both beneficial to the ocean. Both each in their own way offset, for example, the detrimental impact that human population along our shorelines has. Uh, there is an excessive nutrient runoff from human population from a multitude of different sources. And this causes a surplus growth of algae in the water, a surplus concentration, and this can cause an oxygen deprivation state to take place, which can cause what's commonly referred to as a planktonic crash, which is not the exact term that should be used, but is detrimental to the ocean, as these thick layer of animals that are dead and rotting uh, create anoxic conditions in the substrate. Gooey ducks feed on natural ecology, or the, the uh, algae that's being produced, so they help to bring the natural ecology back into balance. Sea cucumber are able to free range, and they basically are the earthworms of the sea. They feed on the rotting uh, plant matter that's happening uh, within Bain Sound right now, uh, probably in the thousands if not millions of metric tons a year. And we know from our recent surveys that the sea cucumber population has only a fraction of what it once was when I originally started diving in this area 30 years ago, similar to what many other species have suffered from. Recently I was talking to a sports salmon fisherman who was my age and I asked him if the salmon fishing nowadays was as good as it was when he first started fishing as a child and he just laughed at me. And this is happening all over the world. Fisheries are either in serious decline or they have collapsed outright. And it's because we simply do not know what the natural recruitment rate is so that we can make the harvest of the wild fishermen at the sustainable level of maximum productivity.
we're either grossly under harvesting the fisheries resource or we're over harvesting and people being what they are they have a natural tendency to over harvest and I'm a neighbor here in Bain Sound I live right beside my own hatchery so I've made sure that the hatchery is neat, clean, and quiet. It adds to the ambience of the neighborhood and the property values because I'm invested in this neighborhood as well. I live on the shoreline of Bain Sound. That's one of the reasons why we have chosen this area because we know that what we're going to be planting for sea cucumbers along the shoreline is going to be beneficial to the ocean, helping to offset the environmental degradation that's happening all over the world and here from human occupation. So I'm quite proud of what we're doing. I think we need to get the word out. And I think that we should ultimately, um, by the proof of what we're doing, be able to prove that we truly will walk like we talk.